a few days ago, just one or two days ago, we had the situation there was that we had three casualties and the officials are officials say that the tension is increasingly high and that the Azeri forces have clusters near Nakhijevan. Um, near the border um, of Nakhijevan, I would like to know whether there are clusters of armed forces both from our and their side and whether there are clusters of ammunition there. Is there a threat of conflict on that border as well? Բայց <laughs> Yes, I did mention that a few days ago in Jemu there was a conflict. They used mortars, they used UAVs, and we had three casualties. In Sperabun, Metakanat, Zorkin, Metakanat, Technikain, the Suakim at Uznas and Parmakan Expulsan, and Kisduki Shasnek, Yerkevice, I'll target at my Gunetsen. I was talking about the uh, speaking of the, the, about the large scales and the numbers you were asking about whether we have a large number of ammunition and soldiers there, let's take a short historical excursion. Have we had any other option? Our population is 3 million, their population is 10 and a half. 75 million in the West they have. When you say a large number of soldiers, armed forces, clusters, they are large numbers. They are many during the last thousands of years. The, the Republic of Armenia is our home. The Republic of Armenia is our home. And we will protect it. I don't know who is standing beside us, but we will defend it. Their armed forces are very, very large. They have been very large back then in the 90s. If anybody has the idea that after the events that took place in 2020, we are full of fear, we are afraid, we are not in the mood to do what we are going to do, no, we are ready and we will do what needs to be done. Regarding war, yes, every day we are on our toes expecting it. And it, has, it doesn't matter at all whether their numbers are high or low. They have always been more and much more than us. <laughs>